Hello, hello, hello. It's Art of Cecilia, Artistic Girl Touch, also known for my planning, styling, and being a mom. Do you see this cutie pie right here? Yes, this is Nina. She is my niece and I love her. She came to me for a a uh, silk out with some curls and a braid because she had a fifth grade social coming up so she wanted to be fabulous so all right so i just want to kind of take you all through a quick little tutorial on how i do my little girls who come to the salon for me so nina is my model she um had so much fun so <laughs> what you see here is um, a shampoo. I always start my clients. I don't care who you are. You will get shampooed in my bowl before we do any services because I feel like the shampoo is the baseline to absolutely every service. So make sure you're really clean that scalp really, 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 really good. Hello, that is Satin Tame, baby. That is one of my favorite products to use. It is kind of like a moisturizing um, mist that goes throughout the hair. It is not a replacement for conditioner, and it's not necessarily a leave-in conditioner. It's a very lightweight um, product, and I love it. So what you see here, we're going to go through a detangling process. So for her, um, and it always depends on the manageability and the hair texture, the curl pattern of the little girl's hair that you're working with. And so for Nina, um, I usually always, you know, use my fingers to divide because hair, natural hair can be very delicate. Um, but there is going to be a fine balance between being uh, uh, delicate with the hair like dainty <laughs> or just being really firm because you've got to get up in there. We got to make sure the hair is fully detangled before we move on to blow drying and styling the hair. We have to get through a detangle no matter what. So what that means is we have to make sure we're using the proper tools. Um, and for Nina, I always use a, um, a wide tooth comb. For others, uh, for hair that is much thicker, maybe more coily, I highly recommend a detangling brush. It is, uh, I'm gonna actually give her a free shout out. It is Felicia Leatherwood, Felicia Leatherwood Detangling Brush. Look that up online and you can order that product online. It is absolutely the best. However, for uh, Nina's hair, yes, her hair is natural, but for me, and I've, I've done her hair all the time. It's very manageable for me to just get right through it with a wide tooth comb and be fully detangled. Okay, now we're going to go through the, the blow dry for her. So um, just keep in mind, always put a heat protectant on the hair uh, before you actually apply any type of heat to it. Because we really want to protect those tresses and just make sure we keep that um, the integrity of the hair intact in that. So... And so, yeah, we are going through and detangling, uh, not detangling, I'm sorry, we are going through and um, blow drying her hair with a comb nozzle. Uh, I guess this is something I definitely highly recommend as well um, to blow dry your little girl's hair with a comb attachment. However, this is not, I repeat, this is not a replacement for detangling natural hair. Please make sure the hair is detangled before you move on with this process. And for me, I kind of just start at the back. Again, I keep those four sections uh, going that I detangle. And use smaller section if, sections if you want. Use larger ones if you need when you're detangling. But use those same sections after you detangle. Kind of put it off to the side and use those same sections to blow dry throughout the hair. It just makes it a lot more easier for you, especially if you're kind of just starting off um, with this uh, process with the natural girls. Okay. The last thing I do when I'm in during the blow dryer is I put my blow dryer on the lowest temperature possible because what this does is it closes that cuticle and it kind of like keeps all the nutrients in the hair, all the conditions, all the products that we put in the hair already, kind of just seals it into the cuticle. Um, I learned this uh, a couple years ago and it, honestly it has really made a difference in the longevity and the healthiness of the hair. Okay, at this point, you can now style her, her hair however you like. At this point, her hair is completely manageable. You can comb through it with a fine tooth comb. You can put some ponytails in there, some twisties or whatever. But like I said, Nina is getting ready for her fifth grade social. And um, I, you know, I'm not against heat whatsoever. I think it's all about any, you know, anything that's good. You just need to monetize it and just make sure you're not overusing the heat. Nina will not be putting any more heat on her hair until the next time she wants heat on her hair. Her, well, her mom <laughs> wants heat on her hair. Um, 
for for Nina, her putting heat on her hair and flat iron it with curls works very well. Um, <laughs> my sister-in-law will tell you it just makes it so much easier um, for them to get ready for school and everything. Uh, so yeah. So what I'm doing here is just just throwing in some curls <laughs> using small sections at a time, making sure I get her root really good. Um, and just going through her hair and getting her ready for her fabulous hairstyle. Yeah, you guys, I'm just having fun. This is my very first, um, I guess, hair tutorial. <laughs> um, I told you all I would definitely start putting some hair vlogs on my new YouTube channel. And please check that out. If you have loved the content so far, please make sure you subscribe, you like, and you share. Hello. Show me some love. So, um, yeah, I am a foster parent and I, I love the children. I love focusing on my little girls and just making sure that they have confidence that really starts from the inside out. And really the hair is the icing on the cake. Our hair is our crown. It has a lot to do with our self-esteem and making sure our girls feel good and look good means a whole lot when they are going out into the real world, you all. Um, a lot of times I end my clients, my little clients with like a little book to read and that, um, and it just helps. So, uh, uh, just making sure you have those materials at hand, you know, having doll babies that look like your child or having books or TV shows or YouTube channels. It is so important for our little girls, no matter what complexion, no matter what hair texture that they have, that they have something to identify um, with themselves as being beautiful because it's not a cookie. Beauty is not cookie cutter and beauty comes in all forms and fashions. Look at her. She is absolutely beautiful. So I kind of just just finger combed her curls out and um, going back to the video. <laughs> A lot of times um, I kind of hit it up the edges up with a little, little, you know, a quick little iron on the edges and just kind of make sure that those are straight and that and it just helps um, her her silk out last a little bit longer. And I always put a little bit of wax. Um, this kind of helps with the reversion instead of using edge control. I use a wax stick. And she is going to be ready. Yes, y'all. I did this break. Mm, excuse me. This braid in one take, baby. I was so proud of myself. <laughs> it's the little things in life. It's kind of like, yeah, you've been doing something forever, but uh, it, it's always nice to just do something in, in, in one swoop. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's coming, but I will be doing some more videos on braiding. But yeah, this whole video, I really just want to do more that are more broken down, like really how to do a proper shampoo, how to properly detangle the hair, what products to use. It's, there, there's so much. If you want to, you can always schedule a one-on-one -on -one hair class with me and you can bring in your little girl if you want and just kind of have a mommy and me hair class right here in my salon suite. Okay, the little girls love it. It's a private experience. I work with another hairstylist, Janelle. Hey, Janelle, shout out to Janelle. Holler at her too. Uh, she works directly across from me. And um, yes, it is her establishment and uh, we work together in this salon suite, um, 260 Northland Boulevard, Springdale, Ohio. Yes, Nina, she is too cute. Got her curls and everything. Now, all Nina has to do to maintain her hairstyle is she can either do some really big pin curls or she can just put a bonnet on and the next day she can just fluff. Uh, there she is. And these are also on my YouTube channel. I mean, not my YouTube channel. They're, my pictures are also on my Instagram page, which is Art of Cecilia on Instagram. So check me out there. Follow me as well. And then that way you can always stay connected on my newest and latest um, the vlog. So there you go. You saw the books. I'm doing what I'm doing. Thank you all so much for listening. Remember to subscribe.